Hello and welcome to Surviving the Abyss. This game is currently in early access. I'm Shadow Coast and welcome to the channel. I'm a big Surviving Mars and Surviving the Aftermath fan, and I ended up picking up Surviving the Abyss off a Steam uh, sale. So here we are in this video. The purpose of this video is to really walk through the tutorial section to get your underwater compound up and running. So that's the purpose of the video. We're going to walk through what you need to do. I've done this maybe two or three times, so hopefully this is helpful. So without further ado, let's jump in. We're going to do a new game. I'm still going to have introduction objectives that are helpful. I'm going to skip the intro cutscene because I'm trying to avoid backstory spoilers. If you're interested in the backstory of why we're here and overseeing this underwater compound, let me know and I'd be happy to post. Now, off the bat, there are a few mechanics that we're going to want to understand. First, we can only really build within lighted areas on the map. So a key factor here will be continuing to generate lamps to increase the area we can build, allowing us to then farm more resources. Let's start with the UI. We're going to go uh, bottom left, up and around. So down here in the bottom left, we have our time. So we can accelerate time, slow it down, pause it. We can click on tutorials. This is actually very helpful if you're looking for certain things on how to do or how they work. Again, this game is in early access, so things are subject to change. Um, in the center bottom, this is kind of our build research utility uh, piece. We have a nice little power line tunnels that we have to connect so our people can get to where they need to go. Buildings, we're going to unlock more buildings through research, which we'll see here in a second. Mission log, so because we're playing with mission logs, we're going to have objectives where we can kind of read in more detail. Technology tree, so this is really important. Do not touch the technology tree unless, unless um, you have to in the tutorial. Because there's certain things you're kind of obligated to purchase a coal extractor, aloe furnace, to be able to progress so keep that in mind cloning this is kind of the main story at the end of the day we are looking to clone uh, human beings this is actually really important to our labor to keep the facility running uh, but we'll come come to that a little bit later and then submarine information we have seven submarines um, maximum submarine seven we have six out of seven and you can see how they're broken out two construction three mining one transportation sub uh, so this is really important because we're going to have to build different subs and maintain them to do different things. Uh, bottom right, this is kind of like a, a UI where we can look at different resources. If we want to select them, we can see our crew. Um, we can see different pieces. We have different biomes or different areas we're going to build into. So you can actually um, quickly move to different areas to just kind of understand what's going on in these different areas. So right now we're in the seagrass dunes from that perspective. So that comes much later game, but this is really helpful if we're looking for certain things like coal or certain resources, we can highlight it. Up here, this is research data. So we mentioned um, these cost research points so we can generate more or receive more. Right now, we're not generating any. Uh, oxygen, important for our humans to breathe. Energy output, this is also important. How many things can we maintain? Then we have our resources up here. So oil, coal, lead, copper, aluminum, iron, quartz, glass, concrete, and steel. And then over here on the left, we have types of uh, genomes, food, and this is the number of people or resources. Is that what it's called? Population. Um, and then here we have our kind of main menu uh, that you need. And then crew relation effectors. Um, here, we want to keep the crew happy. Um, this mechanic I didn't really experience too much of, uh, so I'm not exactly sure how that's going to be impacted, but we're going to obviously have to keep the crew happy from there. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do here is I actually like looking at the resources so we can kind of see. The first thing I recommend building is actually a, a mining relay. I don't believe this costs any resources to my knowledge. And you're just going to want to put one that's kind of central to a bunch of stuff. Steel is going to be the most important. Um, but we're going to want a little coal. We're going to want a little steel, a little concrete. Um, 
iron comes a little bit later. So the first thing you're going to want to do is plop down a mining relay around some of the, the most resources you can get. Then click on the mining relay. And then when you click on the mining relay, you, we can assign our subs. So uh, we saw in the tooltip down here, we have three mining subs. We have to tell them what to mine. So we're just going to say mine all so they can get to work mining stuff. From there, we're going to want to build um, a few things. Now, I just, um, you know, I do like to do stockpiles to, to stock up stuff. Do not waste your resources on stockpiles in the short term. Uh, you can build these a little later once you get established. But the first thing you're going to want to actually build, at least in my opinion, is some power. So we are going to um, cover a couple concepts here. So the first one is tunnels. You see these little light blue dash lines. These are where tunnels can be built between things so you can kind of line it up if you want it straight. It's actually really nice because it's helpful um, as you think about your angles and how your uh, you know town's gonna look. So I'm gonna build the coal generator um, a little further out here. I'm gonna put it over here. Yeah, I think that's that's good. And then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna run a tunnel. What am I doing? We're gonna run a tunnel out, and we're gonna start time. They're gonna they're gonna start getting working on it. So we have our people collecting resources, our construction submarines will start constructing. And then the other thing we can do is build power lines. So we're just gonna build a power line from the generator in, and we have our first message. In the upcoming days and weeks, you'll need to figure out how to supply power, auction food, and get a stable supply of fuel and building materials. Thank you. Um, we are well on our way because we are going to build some power. Overseer, we need to get a regular supply of building resources and fuel. Set up a mining relay, which we've already done, and assign mining subs to it. We already outlined that. We are good to go there. We have our mining relay, and I'm going to toggle off that resource image it's just prettier to look at next up power and oxygen so we have our coal generator which is under construction but we're actually going to want to come over here to little heart life support and build um, oxygen so we're going to put the I'm going to think about this I'm using T to rotate it Now, if this works how I want it to work, no, it did not, unfortunately. We um, can't connect into the main pipeline, which I stupidly forgot about, so I'm committed now. No, I'm not committed now. We can destroy this. We didn't lose anything because we didn't really start building it yet. So I gotta think about the sight lines here and how we want this to work. So we're gonna go boom. Part of the fun of these games is figuring out how to make it all work. And then the other thing we need to do is we need to bring power over here uh, with the power relay. So we will get working. We connected it. You can see here build coal generator which is what we're doing here. Build tunnel to coal generator, which we've done. Build oxygen generator, and then power lines and connection tunnels, which we've already done. So we are in good shape. We are just gathering resources. And all right, now we have power. So boom, we're doing well. Let's see here. We need to think about consistent food supply, a carbohydrate farm. So if we come over here and go to people, um, that's that's a lie. Not people. Where's the carbohydrate farm? Oh, unlock the carbohydrate farm from the tech tree. I already forgot. So we come down here to the technology tree um, and we are going to want to uh, head over to the little heart life support carbohydrate farm and we're going to unlock this item 
So this item is now unlocked. And now if we go over here, we have the carbohydrate farm. So we are going to put that right here. We're going to run power to you. And we're going to connect you via the tunnel pathway. Uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna connect in. So you're gonna see how I'm gonna kind of build inwards, connecting different pieces, and then we'll kind of connect the central hub. So it'll be a little circuit. I like to run it. Now we have seven crew that are unemployed. Um, that's okay. They're gonna naturally take on different jobs. And as we look at it, um, we're gonna be able to. Um, see who inhabits buildings and all that fun stuff as needed so real quick we're just going to check our buoy we still have resources when you click on it it's highlighting so small coal which is important because that'll keep our coal plant running all right next thing so we've sent out additional food so before we can send them down we expect food situation so we need two living quarters and stockpile of food so if we come over here to people population we're going to want to build a couple living quarters now, unfortunately, we cannot rotate the living quarters the way I want to, which is super kind of annoying, to be honest. So, I guess we're just going to go like that. Over here, we need to locate larger deposits of resources, so we're going to need to build a sonar tower. So we want to build a, a sonar tower. That's going to be under this kind of point of interest exclamation mark. So we're going to build the sonar tower. And it doesn't really matter where you place the sonar tower. It just It's going to need power. We're going to go ahead and place it kind of close. And we should be able to have a pretty good region to drop it. So I'm putting it close to the base so we can build out in different areas. So alert, six crew members have arrived. That's fantastic. I don't want to go ahead and connect this in yet and this needs apparently no it does have power all right so locate fuel extraction point using a sonar beacon so the way this works is we when we click on the sonar tower we can select different beacons to look for so we're going to do a fuel beacon and you can see here on the right none 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 it's going to tell us you know what the probability is um, so here it says medium, so we're going to send out a ping, and we have something over here, that's kind of far away, so we're going to go ahead and drop another one, it says medium, over here, let's see if we can get one that's closer, and it looks like we do have one that's closer, so that's a good thing. So. Our sonar tower has located a nearby resource. Once the area is lit, we can build a coal extractor on it. So as I mentioned before, we can only build where there's light. And I think, there we go. If we build right there, we should be able to hopefully hopefully light up this area. Now if we go to our tech tree, if we go over to power, I lied, if we go over to the box, coal extractor, we're able to unlock this item. So we'll do that in a minute here. Let's make sure we can, re can reveal it. Let's see how we're doing on resources. We're okay. Alright, so this coal extraction point. Alright, we need to unlock the coal extractor, so we're going to unlock this item. We go over to um, the square box. We can coal extract. We're going to go ahead and make sure you have power. Now, here's the nice thing we do have one transportation submarine that can transport people over here to, to run it. We have 11 crew unemployed. 
so that's okay for now but ideally we're gonna kinda wanna build out to this area we got a small coal deposit this is a larger one at 369 and unfortunately this needs O2 so we have a decision to make we can Oh no, it requires elevator. So we do not want to do that. Destroy. I didn't plan this out well. Requires elevator. So we, as we're building here tunnels, we can do an elevator shaft. So, um, I think. It's a toughie. Brine pool. Um, no exploration subs. I think this is gonna this is gonna suck a little bit, but that's okay. We're gonna actually go for um, an oxygen generator. We're gonna put it right there. We'll have a tunnel. And um, we are going to build a little uh, coal generator out here, too. So we know we have to build our little elevator. That's fine. I do want them connected. Right, we're going to break this down. We're going to break this down and eventually... Um, put stuff between here and there so it's all connected so you're saying you have no power but you should have power from the from the wire all right over here we have the almost faith in your in you to lead this before we give go ahead we need you to progress the stockpile 80 coal all right. If this mission is to be successful, we will need to research new technologies. We must adapt to life down here. Build a research lab and staffing it with a crew will generate research data per day. We can also attach modules to our research labs to provide additional daily research data. All right, construct a basic research lab. So this is gonna increase research data, which is really important. So if we come over here um, to the up arrow, that's research. Basic research lab. Now, I want to build it like right. Hold on, we're just going to do some quality of life stuff I knew the research lab was coming so I should have should have done a better job First step in our goal is the acquisition of genetic material. Specialized genetic material can be found in habitats. Habitats are a source of genetic material and have a rarity corresponding to their species located within. We must locate a habitat and build a fauna trap on it. First, we should locate a habitat using a sonar beacon. So we already have a habitat of rosefish. So 
we can go ahead and place a fauna trap on this. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I think it should have power, but it'll let us know if we doesn't. Can't tell. I think, yeah, it should be fine. So we're, we're going to have to start building a bunch of these in different areas. Yeah, I think that should be fine. It looks like it's operating. So three mining subs are idle. Oh, we, when we reposted it, we didn't tell it to keep mining. All right, we pinpointed the location of a nearby habitat. We must uh, make preparations for the cloning process. Build a fauna trap on the habitat and capture our first genome samples. In addition, begin construction of our cloning lab. All right, cloning lab. Woohoo. So we're gonna build our cloning lab here. We connect that in. We're gonna have power source coming here, power source going here, power source coming in. So we have kind of redundancy lines in case something happens. This is extracting coal. This is extracting steel and other items, which are helpful. We're gonna do a resource beacon. Let's see, well, there is a C. Concrete deposit, iron deposit. I think we're gonna want to get ahead of the game here. All right, cloning lab constructed. Although it says you don't have enough power. Output 26, current demand 33. So, not surprisingly, cloning lab, better or worse. takes more power so we're gonna we're gonna build another one right here to generate more power we're also gonna build a light tower over here so we can drop another beacon because this one is almost depleted select um, we want the coal extractor we're going to add two I see there is not a way to turn off there we go, turn off power. Bottom right, there we go. Gonna destroy this beacon. And move it. Oh boy. Move it over. Move it over somewhere else. Um, we're gonna go ahead and turn this one off. We're gonna turn this on. Because we really want to... ...mine more stuff. We really needed some steel. Alright, the time has come. Open the cloning interface and desire genomes to begin the cloning process. All right, so we, we're gonna need to power up the um, cloning lab. 
can't really do that right now. Well, takes eight. So we're going to power it on. We're going to have to staff a worker. Um, we're going to go basic research. Now we open up the cloning lab. So we can pick different items. Oh. So Rose Fist um, and a Generalist. So you can see the chance of what we're going to get Generalist, which is fine. We're going to begin cloning. Now the reason this is so important is we want to clone as many people as possible because that adds to our labor pool and you can already see we have a deficiency in the labor pool market. And we're going to need a heck of a ton of, um, of more people to run just to like supply power. So as we do stuff too, we're going to kind of drop drop some resourcing oh because it's out of range oh we already did there so it takes two power let's see we're gonna speed this up complete first successful clone so 50 days now the challenge with the clones is they don't live too long so we're gonna continuously have to keep building them remaining uh, uses three out of four cloning progress so we have Niaela Robinson who will be quickly put to work Greetings over here. This is the command station once again. Congratulations on your first success. This is the first par partially successful human clone in almost three years. This, however, is just the beginning. These crews still have limited lifespans, so we're surely going to need more. Expand the population to 20. So we are just going to keep cloning, 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 and then hopefully get more resources to help improve our cloning. Um, over here we have spider crab. So why don't we go ahead and drop a fauna trap? Um, before we do though, I want to make sure that we're able to, uh, capture some more, um, light. So this is on the, the edge. I'm starting to worry that my mind is turning on me these days when I catch the eye of a friend in the break room it's like they don't even know me colleagues I thought I knew are now treating me like a stranger and my life on the surface feels so distant I have so many fond memories of my mother but I struggle to recall the sound of her voice she feels like a stranger to me have any other reported feeling this way all right send them to the hospital under supervision of the hospital it was revealed that the crew member was suffering from something akin to cognitive dissonance, a complication of the cloning process. Through a series of grounding exercises, they can assimilate better to their environment and return to work. Fantastic. We need them working. So one of the reasons I was waiting is we actually want to get um, more steel, which is really important. One injured crew. We're at minus five. We're gonna turn this off. Kind of manage our our buildings. We're going to plus eight. We're good for now. We're gonna turn this off. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and destroy this beacon. And drop that it. I thought we were going to get more. So we have coal and steel. Which is important. 
So one of the things you're going to want to do is um, alloy furnace. A steel foundry turns two raw units of iron ore into one unit of building grade steel. The alloy furnace is very critical. You're going to want to get that. And then we're going to want the coal um, efficiency. Coal power generators will use 20% less coal. Recommend you unlock that first um, to help. And then there is the some other really important item upgrades but there was one over here um, faster cloning so I recommend taking those upgrades early on to help you out we are gonna go ahead and look at the alloy furnace here and um, I'm gonna put this right here. Nope. Nope. There we go. Boom. We are looking for more people. We're at minus one already, so we're gonna need even more power which can be challenging quickly gets messy and we can turn this off for now but what we do want to do is make sure that we we always have enough um, steel so we have the ability to build steel if we need it uh, so that's kind of a critical component now we can build a sub factory I that takes a lot of resources so we're gonna wait for now well, what I would like to do before we call this an episode is just grab another fauna trap I do believe we're gonna need some sort of power to it so let's go ahead and build that and we're gonna turn you back on. Fuel beacon, nope, none. That's invalid. Resource beacon. Steel. Quartz glassed. So we're going to go ahead and build a light tower. I'm kind of curious, if I turn this one off, we should be okay, I think. The first clones have been a partial success. Mutation in the genetic resource sequences means our lifespans are shortened. So let's go ahead and open the gene sequencer. You see here... Rosefish, common times seven, remaining genome seven. We could run out. We had two successes, two failures. Uh, fauna trap two. Let's see. We only have basic bait. Fauna capture. We're going to see um, if we can do some spider crab. There we go. Common one, generalist 12%. So we're actually better off with rosefish. So let's go ahead, fill those in, keep keep them coming. Find the resources and genetic samples we need, we must explore. Uh, before we can build further out, we'll need more. So, great. We are going to move this beacon. Destroy it. Build another one. glass gotta make sure we assign people to it don't forget
One of the coal extractor teams has found a coal vein unlike anything we've seen before. It's much harder than the rest of the coal surrounding it. Extracting from this vein could result in considerably higher yield than usual, but it would require one of the crew to descend through the hole. Allow the crew to access the coal vein. When the crew got trapped while exploring the deposit, they're out now. We will need to set, spend some time in the hospital to recover. We don't have a hospital. So, this is where it gets a little more complicated, where you have to decide what to upgrade. So if we come over here to, to health, hospital is an item we can unlock. And if we come over here, housing a hospital is a decent idea, but it's going to take power and resources. Not to mention people to maintain. Apparently we can't connect there. This one. Oh, we did not begin cloning. Make sure you click on be begin cloning. That is important. That is important. Now, one of the things about the genetic material, you're going to want to harvest different ones because you can see how many people we can make based off how much we've harvested. So always keep that in mind that you're going to want to hit these um, additional. Um, You know components. No crew in darkness for. All right. No crew in darkness for 25 days. That's good. I guess we were not banking energy, so we can turn this back on if needed. Um. One generator without power lines. And, oh, you gotta connect them in. Wow. I'm glad it said something. There's no one working there, so it doesn't matter. True crew are unhoused. So we're going to build a few more living quarters. This is the one that's obnoxious that we can't. We can't. Um... All right, now we're full with coal. So this is where we want to think about um, fuel stockpile. And I'm going to go ahead and dump that over there. So that should be able to increase it. And we're going to want more people. We're good with oxygen. Fauna depleted rosefish. Destroy that because we're done. Unsafe air quality. Oh man. We're gonna need oct. We're gonna need. What are we gonna need? Um, concrete. If we toggle this on, small coal deposit, small quartz deposit, small concrete deposit. So what we can actually do is turn the submarine off. We have one idle submarine, and we can um, send it over here. It's actually kind of annoying. You actually probably want to drop a beacon because sometimes it freaks out, so keep that in mind. All right, that is Surviving the Abyss. This game is a lot of fun. You can definitely get sucked in as you progress and build out. Like all the surviving games, I find it kind of a unique twist and interesting. Um, having to generate clones to keep your population up, having to research more, harvest resources. So hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. If you enjoy what you see, it's currently on the Steam sale, uh, so you can pick it up. It's the um, oh geez, spring sale of 2023 for Steam. Uh, it is early access, so there is a lot more. To come from the game, you can see some of the tool tips and stuff. It's not quite as pristine as some of the other things or other surviving games, but it's definitely coming along, and I like the theme. So if you did find this content informative and helpful, please drop a thumbs up and hope to see you in future videos. Shadow Coast out.